Hey, it's Darnell. And I got something on my chest I need to get off. No, it ain't about 45 this time. We're going to leave him alone, let him implode on his own. This is about something that's near and dear to all of us, regardless of whether you Republican or Democrat or Independent. You know, I've been having these memories about when I was back in junior high school. Well, you, these days y'all call it middle school. Uh, but in junior high school and high school, but you could even apply this to like the grocery store and, and uh, the DMV and amusement parks. What am I talking about? What, what do all these have in common? Lines. That's right, lines. We all got to deal with them every single day. Sometimes more than once a day. Ain't that right? Now, I just remember flashing back to when I was in junior high school and, you know, for recess and lunchtime, you would have to walk up to the shack where they where they made the food or kept the food and you know there'd be lines and you're trying to hurry up and get your food so you could hang out with your friends for a few minutes before you got to go back to class. Remember that? So I was thinking about the feeling of as you approach the, the front of the line the euphoria that you start feeling when, you, uh, when you're getting closer to getting that reward of whether it be food or you know whether it's the DMV where you're renewing your license or renewing your registration on your car uh, at the amusement park when you get closer after spending two hours in line you get close to the front of the line you're gonna ride the ride right but then you start remembering back when you had bullies who would just rush up to the front of the line like you ain't been waiting all this period of time and they just rush in and get in front of you or somebody that's in front of you that's, that's uh, 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 further up in line. Remember the emotion you felt then? Yeah. I mean, if you were anything like me, I remember I felt like fighting. That wasn't fair. You know, we were the good guys. We were the ones who followed the rules. Right? Weren't you one of them? Yeah, and nowadays it manifests itself like this, being driving on the freeway. Mm-hmm. You know where I'm going with this, right? Driving on the freeway, getting ready to get off on the off-ramp. There's a long line of cars to get off. Mm-hmm. And lo and behold, you see speeding past you through your side view mirror and ultimately through your front windshield, you see those cars that are going up to the front of the line and cutting over. Especially them SUVs. They be going up into the front of the line, ain't even got space for a full car, and they go in and insert themselves in between two cars up at the front. Now, I looked over one day and I saw you doing that. Mm-hmm. Sure did. You know who you are. I saw you doing it, and now you the bully. That's right. You a bully. Now what makes you any better than me that you could just forego the fact that I've been waiting in line patiently and you get up to the front and bogart your way in? I got places to go to. I got people waiting on me. I'm running late for shit. Excuse my French. As you see, I got something on my chest and I need to get it off. People, think. Be kind. Be considerate. Be love. 